<laughs> well, guys, the views do not lie. Apparently, my Supreme Commander 2 first episode was kind of a hit. So, we're going to come back with the second episode in the uh, UEF campaign. Let me put my keys somewhere here. Okay, so, we're going to do the second mission off base on hard difficulty, since you know I'm no filthy casual at this game. <laughs> yes. Since I'm no filthy casual, I'm going to do this thing on hard. Start my 15 minute timer. Let's do it! While moving, mobile units will fire at any valid target that enter their weapon range. Duh. This isn't Red Alert. This isn't the Command and Conquer series. We know this. Actually, that's another series I always debated doing. If I could get a hold of the Command and Conquer, like, multi-pack, I would always do... I would all, I always want to do a Command and Conquer uh, playthrough. I always thought that was just the coolest frickin' RTS series. Probably one of the first real... RTS series, unless if we're counting, um, Dune, I think was it? I think Dune might have been one of the first. Listen up. The second target for the Cybern Invasion Force was the Eridu Strategic Weapons Center. As you can see, it has sustained a significant amount of damage. It looks like someone threw a nuclear party here. Yes, uh, sir. You're not that far off. Some Cybran carpet nuked the place, left behind an army that you and Commander Coleman will need to deal with. Coleman has taken over the center's remaining land factories, but has a serious problem with Cybran renegade gunships in his area. While Coleman holds the front lines at his position, get multiple air factories online ASAP and prep some air defenses in case the Cybrans mount a counterattack. Yes, sir. This ain't no training exercise, Maddox. This is serious work for real men. Then what are you doing here? Oh, you got a long way to go before you prove to me you belong here, Joker. Keep the chatter down and get to work. Okay, so... This mission wasn't the one I was expecting to do, I th but we'll kill it either way. What I'm doing on here is shift. This allows me to do, like, multiple things at once. But that's not really... New research easy. options are available. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. Thank you, Siri. That's a good one, actually. I'm going to use that. Research reward, three points. Also, if you build on top of stuff, you actually save... Um, everything is like half the cost. Building a structure over the wreckage of another of the same type reduces its mass and energy cost. Like I just said. Thank you, Siri. I'm just going to very quickly... All it will let me build here is air factory, so the only option is to actually mount an air assault. But that doesn't bother me one none so ever. Broadsword gunship. Okay, first things first. Structures, I want to reduce the cost and time. Now let's get a patrol mounting here. I'm all I'm doing is holding shift when I do all this. It allows me to queue up like multiple things. Add-on shield and that with factory installation. These add-ons add anti-air turrets to your factories to bolster their defenses. Basically what I was going to say. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. Back in Supreme Commander Forged Alliance, back when this game was actually hard. Actually, this game this game requires a, quite a bit of setup, actually. I'm not giving it enough credit. Like, get everything done. It's actually quite a bit of setup and stuff. Nope, 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 nope. I want to set up several turrets here. All your all the attacks that the Cybern launches at you directly come from the north here, so it's usually a good idea to set up a few of these bad boys. Cause my Air Force is getting the its Wow, my Air Force sucks. Let's just select all of them here. Yeah, build 15 for right now. I've got then. a gunship patrol chewing through my land forces. Maddox, vector some fighters to Coleman's location ASAP. Roger that. This guy will hold off indefinitely, in all honesty. I'm not sure why they're trying to rush me here. But I'll just have these guys go over there. I'll have the rest of my Air Force up in just a moment or two.
Oh god. These guys are brutal. Do I have sh access to shield technology? I will. Engineers can be put on patrol. They will automatically repair land units and reclaim battlefield wreckage for mass within their patrol range. Yeah, so I'm probably going to set this guy on patrol for a while. Go get him, killer. As soon as I get mass. Let's reclaim. Oh god, it's going to be a while. Did I never set you to a build? Nope, I did not. Okay, that's a shame. Now I think I know why this is so hard. I did set it to hard. Duh. So I think they're running with fully upgraded technology, whereas I'm still kind of struggling here a bit on early game. But I shouldn't have an issue too much longer. Eventually I will have a huge air force that will just overwhelm them completely. I'm not worried. So I need to get on the offensive and research technologies. Fair enough. Now these guys are actually doing a surprising amount of damage to these gunships. Cool. Very nice. We're building. Oh god. It's actually kind of a big assault there. That's actually kind of a problem. I've never actually Those done this. Those renegades are dropping like flies. Yeah, look at that. I've never actually played this game on hard before. So we'll kind of see how this goes. Yeah, these these first couple missions aren't too action-packed. We'll see the NPCs fighting a bit here. These things, these things right here. Mobile anti-shield, anti-air, anti-missile. Those things are freaking annoying. They're my favorite union when I play Cybern. Grab another four here. Come on, just... There you go. Maddox, wars are won by those with the most powerful guns. Research that broadsword and end this fight. Yes and yes. And I want one here. There should be a gunship coming up there. And... These gunships are actually very powerful units. Which is, I find to be worrying. This thing's packed Commander punch. under attack. Yeah, I'm under attack, apparently. It's almost a negatable amount of attack damage actually being done to me. Let's hope this dude can actually make some progress against these stupid gunships. Or against the stupid defenses over here. There we go. Oh, my defenses are probably going to drop. You will not Where's kill him. Where's Maddox? I'm getting hammered over here. He's assembling his air force. What do you mean assembling my air force? My air force is assembled and quickly being diminished. You know, I just need to dedicate all my resources towards shields right now, and it will be fine. Will be fine. I'll be just fine. Research income. Come on, baby. I need that research. That research, though. Very nice. So now I'll research. My research stations will pump out more research points. So, like, point 0.8 now. Perfect. The skies above Charlie are clear. Good job, Maddox. Huh. I feel like such a brown noser. Aw. Aw, I lost my stuff. Hang on, Maddox. Hang on a second there, Chief. We got work for you to do first. Let's reassemble this, this. And then you can build shields. He's also building stuff. Okay. After this, I should be ready to just utterly power through them with sheer unit power. There we go. 
So I've got it queued up to build 10 each, I think. Yep, 10 each, so 30 extra ships. Oh yeah, shields doing their jobs. That's what I like to see. As soon as this guy's done building that... He should go on patrol and reclaim all the stuff, and then I'll have more resources to work with. Uh, I need more mass. Only getting plus eight. Okay, so. Maddox just has to finish building that. This guy should soon be on patrol healing up all my stuff. Further down the line, we can actually convert these into, resource, into uh, engineering stations. It's actually kind of badass. Especially during skirmishes and stuff, people just build a shit ton of those, and you cannot break the line. I have tried to break the line, but I could not break... Un unless I'm, like, rocking experimentals, I usually have a little bit of trouble actually breaking that line. See, as he's reclaiming, it jumps up to plus 13 here. Yeah, we're looking good. Now I have... There we go. The only issue... The thing I love about gunships and hate all at the same time. They can get through shields. It's annoying, but it's kind of needed. So he won't be able to get through those. I'm going to have to help him here. And I'll get broadsword. We should all be good. Increase my patrol rate here. Hey, Hey, a radar. There we go. Put a radar there. That should be pretty good. Maddox, get air support to Coleman's position. Oh, he can handle it. These frickin' fighters are just wrecking my face. I need three. Come on. Oh. Another coupler bite in the dust here. And we do get... And we actively get research points when we kill something. We get, like, a little bit of research points off of her kill. Very nice. Now we've got some frickin' vision out there. Want another research station. So we can hopefully speed things along here. The new design for the broadsword gunship is now available for construction at your air factories. It is a formidable tool for dealing with land units and structures, but it is vulnerable to air attacks from fighters. So I want... Six of you, and then another five of you. All right, time to go on the defensive. Or, time to go on the offensive, I should say. Uh, is he still reclaiming wreckage? Very nice. Let's equip a whole crap ton more. These? As I, as my stuff kills stuff, it, or as my, as stuff kills other things, I should say, they do gain veterancy points, which makes them more combat effective. So the longer you can get something to live, the better. It'll even eventually develop its own healing factor. Or an even greater healing factor, I should say. Let's kill this. This is a tech, cr a tech crate. They're very, very... They're beneficial to, like, any game that you play. Especially this one. So what I want to do here... So I'm actually going to queue up on here. So I want to... Stop. So for every two gunships, I want one fighter. I'm going to set that on repeat, and it'll do that forever. Gosh, that's going to take a while to kill. How many other gunships do I have? You guys. Aid. Hope the game's done yelling at me now. I'm tired of dealing with the game. Keep reinforcing this position. See? More tech points. Okay, let's start killing stuff here. So I want the shield, and I want all the outlying defenses. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we're finally getting on the offensive here. Shield down. If I was feeling really ambitious, I would have packed bombers, but I really shouldn't need them for this mission. This increases our uh, combat effectiveness. Wow, 15 minutes already. Well... here for a little bit. Oh no, we are not having you guys doing anything to help these fools. Throwing a bomber on the queue, why not? I've got resources. Nope, nope, not fighters. Gunships. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the recording right here. When we come back, hopefully I can bust through the last of these defenses and really make some progress and finish up this mission. So, until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.